guys, Laura here. I'm here today to do a pretty fun video. Um, I am really excited for BookCon and Book Expo. It is coming up at the tail end of May, beginning of June. I have been going to conventions for about three years, and I know that there, there are some people that are about to venture to conventions for the first time or just want some fun tips and tricks. So these are fun, some fun tips and tricks that I have used over the course of my entire con experience. I've gone to BookCon twice before. I have gone to New York City Comic Con for the past three years. So in general, these are tips, but most of these are specific to BookCon. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share the tips that me and my friends do when we go to conventions together, and I thought you guys might like to hear them. And if you are coming to these conventions, I would love to see you, so come over and say hello. The first tip is to remember to have fun and enjoy yourself. And I think sometimes this gets so put on the back burner because everyone's like, oh my god, I need this, oh my god, I need that. And they're so focused on arcs and getting swag that they forget that we're there to have fun. We are all book readers, we all love to read, we all want to get the highly anticipated arcs and we all want to read them. But at the end of the day, stop, you know, walk around the convention center for 20 minutes and not worry about arcs. You know, just enjoy yourself. Walk around the entire convention center, find stuff you never thought, and just enjoy yourself. That's what I try to do at every single convention I go to. It's not always super successful, but I do at least try, and I just try to enjoy myself, and I try not to let myself get upset if I forget something or don't get something or don't get what I want because sometimes a blessing, it turns into a blessing in disguise. One of my favorite stories that I've ever told about a convention is I was really bummed last year at New York City Comic Con because I didn't get a bat, a, the Batman Nightworker arc. Those arcs are like impossible to find. But instead of getting that, I did get to meet the authors of Zenith, Sasha Elberg and Lindsay Cummins, and they signed my arc. So you have to sometimes always have backup plans, but just know you're there to have fun, enjoy yourself, and just have fun. I think that that is so important to say. Enjoy yourself. Don't get too crazy. Don't get too freaked out. Just enjoy the experience. That is tip one. Tip number two is one that I tell all my friends before any single convention that we go to, especially in reference to arcs and swag. Go in with super low expectations. I am a super big planner and that is like way down the tip list. But I always go in and tell myself if I can walk out with five arcs, I'll be happy. And I just kind of go in with super low expectations. So whatever I get, I am so grateful for and so appreciative for. And I just enjoy what I get. And it's like, you that's, a, that, that's the thing about these conventions. It's impossible to get everything. You can try your hardest and pull your hair out at the wit's end. But it's just not going to happen. And my quote to myself is, okay, I didn't get that arc. All right, I'll either buy it, I'll buy the book when it comes out, or I'll get it from the library. Or I'll try it to get the arc in a different way, you know? So I just think you have to have super low expectations and just so, just so you're not disappointed because there is millions of things we're going to want and we're just not going to get everything. But I, I, I have had proven very, very successful and hopefully these tips will help you be successful as well. Tip number three, I definitely experienced the past year or so. Um, my first my first two conventions I ever went to, I did not have a friend group and I am so bummed about that. But I actually started going to conventions with a bunch of friends. We have like a group of like eight people. We go to most conventions together. We're all going to BookCon this year. And it's just fun. I think that you have to really create an experience and give yourself. It's like to me that's my vacation and I really love it. But I also get to spend it with my friends. And I love talking books and seeing what arcs we're going to get and going crazy trying to get it. But it's so much fun if you're doing it with other people. And in me and my group of friends we often just like trade and swap arcs so like if I really want to go for wild card and my friend Zyra really wants to go to Catwoman we will just swap arcs and that's what all my friends do so once we're done reading we just swap arcs and also like if I know that Jen really wants to buy a book I will read her arc and then she can buy it so there's there's a lot of fun reasons to go with friends but it's also like you know you just it's it's more fun to share your love with uh, your love of novels with someone that you like enjoy so we have like a group of about eight of us and we're all make sure everyone no one gets left behind and we try to keep it all like fair and stuff but yeah it's super fun to go with friends so I'm really excited to spend another book on with the bookish friends that I met at the last couple of conventions and yeah, so it's, so that's my biggest tip. If you can find a bunch of friends or even go to the conventions and meet friends for, I met most of my friends at conventions. All my bookish friends I met at all conventions and now we talk all year long. We've become friends outside of conventions. We go to book signings together. So a lot of my friends I met at book signings or book conventions and now we just kind of go in a pack. But that's another, find bookish friends, go to the convention with your bookish friends or find bookish friends at the convention. 
you know, you're always, you know, these conventions, you're always standing online for stuff. Just strike up a conversation with someone saying, oh my God, I'm waiting for the new Megan Shepard arc. Do you like Megan Shepard too? Did you read her other series? It's really easy to strike up conversations in these settings. I've seen it all the time at all the conventions I go to. So yeah, either find bookish friends or go to the conventions with book of friends. I think it will make your experience a lot, lot better. And then you're not putting all your focus on getting arcs or books because you have other things to look forward to. Like, oh, I'm going to spend the entire weekend with Marissa and Sarah. I'm so excited. And then the arcs are just kind of an end of bonus. This is my biggest tip. Um, and tip number four is to plan. I am a big scheduler. I love to plan things. Um, and normally about, I'd say like two weeks before BookCon, they start releasing schedules and I have a massive um, Word document and I go through every single publishing house that I see that sends me emails and I put everything into a giant schedule for BEA and BuckCon. I've never gone to BEA but I'm going to do a very very similar thing and then I highlight what are like my high priority arcs and I put everything on that schedule even doubles so like if I know they're dropping wild card at four o'clock on Saturday but they're also dropping it at two o'clock on a Sunday I know, like, okay, well, then I'm not going to go to that because I got it. But I just do these massive schedules, and it's so easy. Everyone that I go with gets a schedule, so they at least know what they want to do. We don't have to stay together, but at least we have, like, a set plan. It, these conventions, you, it's impossible to do everything, so I'd really, like, list, like, high priority items, low priority, and just some things. And some things you'll just get handed. Like, I've got books thrown, well, not thrown, but I get tossed at me, and you're just like, oh, do you want this? And I just grab everything. And then when I come home, I kind of sort through and say, like, oh, I really don't like this stuff, but my friend might. So plan, 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 plan. Um, that's my biggest thing. And I really like to plan because I feel like it, it gives me like a set plan of attack. You know, you'll get emails like the night before. Oh, if you come to Epic Reads at 12 o'clock and you show this email, you will get a free arc. So always keep those emails somewhere. Have your phone always charged. That's another tip later. But make sure that you just have this information. I'm a I really like to plan and I think that it just makes your weekend a lot more fluid and easy to handle if you know what you're doing and you're not just walking around aimlessly because then you know the information and on your piece of paper have what it is, what you have to do to get it, where like the the time and any information you have so you're not looking through all your pieces of paper for this information. It's all in one location. And another thing that I also do is in addition to that, the first thing I do every morning is I go to every group every booth every big publishing booth and I grab their schedules so like they might have something on that piece of paper that you don't have and I just check double check so like oh I didn't have that they were handing out this arc at three o'clock I'm better put that on my schedule so at least I know where I'm going and I have all of these options so if something falls through I always have a backup plan um I started doing that for New York City Comic Con and it was really really su successful um so I'm definitely going to do that for BEA and BuckCon so plan 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 and share your plan with the people that you're with so that they also have a plan. That's my biggest, biggest tip. More of a tip for book at BookCon because there is like a couple of weeks before BookCon, they have like the autographing in the back where you have to get a ticket. Sometimes you have to buy the book, but the authors are all back there. Um, and I choose those authors for me. I choose those authors super carefully. If you are not as lucky as me and you don't live in New York City, there might be authors that you never see. But for me those authors that I'm choosing back there because it's like you're gonna have to take time out of your show floor I would say any autographing you do you're at least losing an hour and a half so just consider that when you're doing those autographings at BuckCon you're at least losing an hour and a half of your time sometimes it's less but it's always good to just know you might be off the floor for like an hour and a half I lost an hour for Holly Black last year and I lost a, an hour for Cora Carmack but that was totally fine because I really wanted to meet them so that was like perfect but just know that going in so my new thing is I'm really only going to do like one or two authors. I would love to meet Cassandra Clare. She's like my big author that I want to read and also maybe Stephanie Garber for Caraval. So those are my two authors that I really want and you I think you can do like two a day for those. You can get two tickets and they go on set. They go like up for a lottery like a couple of weeks before. So just plan those out carefully and see like do you really want to be off the floor for that long cuz you will be missing stuff but you're going you're not you can't get everything anyway. So for me it's for me I just they think like okay do I really want to be off the floor that long like a perfect example is last year I got a ticket for Stephanie East Jennifer E. Smith because she was signing there but then two days later she was signing at Books of Wonder so I didn't go to that and then I went to the Books of Wonder signing and I got my book signed so just kind of consider that like have you seen this author before have you never seen this author is she like your dream author that's how I consider my autographing for BookCon as well
tip number six is to be flexible and know that things will change. Authors sometimes don't appear. Arcs sometimes don't get dropped. That is less likely. But sometimes just know that things can change. And, you know, sometimes you won't get in line on time. So I that's why I always have a backup plan. I really have done that a lot more recently, um, especially since I went to New York City Comic Con. But, yeah, definitely always have backup plans. And know that things have changed. Flexible. I've had authors that say that they're going to all be here and then they don't show up because people get sick. So just always have a backup plan and know that they're, you know, even if something falls through, sometimes just walking around the convention center and lining up at a random booth will produce books that you don't even know that they had out there. And that's just a fun thing to me. So just be flexible, realize things can change, and be okay with that. Tip number seven is just common courtesy. Be nice, be kind, be considerate, don't push, don't shove, don't steal books out of people's hands. I know it sounds so stupid and so silly, but especially be nice to the people working these conventions. As someone that works in retail, I know that their job is probably insanely difficult that day because everyone wants the same exact thing and they're just trying to keep everyone safe. So just be nice, be kind, be courteous. You know, I know that we all want the same exact thing, but there's no need for pushing. There's no, there's no need for shoving. There's no need for cursing. If we don't get what we want, Okay. You know, I just think that sometimes people get so caught up in getting what they want that like, you know, I've seen people shoved into tables. I've seen have people, I've seen people have books ripped out of their hands. So just be kind, considerate, and courteous, both to your fellow con goers, but also the people working the convention. That's just kind of a blanket statement. But again, we're all there because we're book lovers. We're all there because we want to have fun. Let's just enjoy the experience. And most importantly, stay safe. Tip number eight might be a little bit controversial, but for me, it was always to avoid the big arc drops at BookCon. Now I know what you're going to say, but Laura, that's the whole point of going to conventions. And trust me, I know. And if you want to do that, that's awesome. I just think I get really, really claustrophobic sometimes, so those arc drops just scare me. And I have not proven successful ever getting a high-profile arc at a convention that way. I had a lot more success at New York City Comic Con because we're all going for different things, but everyone wants, like last year at B Book Con, everyone wanted War Horse, everyone wanted Wonder Woman. So I just feel like those arcs aren't always super successful, and at the end of the day, I'm probably going to buy the book anyway. So I try to avoid those arc drops, just me personally. I know me and my friends, we've had a lot of conversations this year about that to try to avoid those. I'm also going to BEA this year, so I'm definitely going to be avoiding those if I can try to snag them the other days of the conventions. The only massive arc drop I got last year at BookCon was the um, Bonfire by Kristen Minner, and I got to meet her. So that was a really, really cool experience, and I try to only do those things if I know that they're only happening during BookCon. Um, but yeah, so those are just some of my thoughts about massive arc drops and courtesy etiquette. But again, that's where the most pushing and shoving comes and where it can, be can become a little bit unsafe. So that's just me as like me as a person. But again, also, if you are going to do those, just know that it is just luck of the draw. Tip number nine is just a reminder about food and self-care and just remember to bring food. Um, I start, the first thing I pack or prepare to pack every single time I go to a convention is a full pack lunch for every single day. So I have a full pack lunch of food, a sandwich, some fr fruit and veggies in a bag, and that's what I eat. That's my lunch. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to leave the convention center. And that's what I do because it's really, really hard sometimes to get off the floor to go find something. There are stuff in the Javits Center, but it's just, it's hard. So I always have stuff with me. I also always have at least two bottles of water. I normally buy more water at the convention center. Um, and then I always have Advil on me, um, band-aids. I remember I cut my finger last year at the Owl Crate booth because one of their pins was super sharp. So I always have Band-Aids. I always have Advil and I try to avoid drinking soda. I don't really drink soda, coffee, but I do drink soda. Try not, try not to drink coffee, soda as much that week because it's just, it's just sugar. Um, but I always try to have snacks. It's a lot, a lot of snacks. I pack like a lot of snacks. That's my biggest thing. I sometimes bring pretzels. I sometimes bring cheese sticks. Um, I just try to bring a bunch of stuff and stick it in my bag so that we have food. And we're going with a bunch of people this week, so we'll, we'll probably run to like CVS and just get a bunch of stuff and have it in like our hotel room. But always water as well. So those are just self care, Advil, and also like remember like if you're this is especially good when you're going to a bunch of people, use the bathroom. Like if you're gonna be if you know you're gonna be online for like a couple of an hour or an hour or so, use the bathroom. Have someone save your spot in line. Even if you're going by yourself, if you're all online, say, look, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Can you just watch my spot? And then when you come back and swap. We, we, we also do that in the morning when we're waiting to get into the Javits Center. 
we all do a Starbucks run and we all wait and we all eat together and we all kind of plan our day together. So that's kind of a bonding moment for us all together for all my friends and it's been super successful. So that is that tip, just self care, food, hydration, and remember to always have food and water with you. That is my biggest tip. <laughs> Tip number 10 is super simple. Make sure you dress comfortably. I think last year I went in capris and a bookish themed shirt and I was totally comfortable. Make sure you wear comfortable things, comfortable shoes, because it's a lot of walking. You're carrying a lot of things and that's my biggest tip is just make sure you're dressed comfortably and make sure you know you can move around a space and not be restricted. That's why whenever I go to Comic-Con or like any of those conventions, I always wear my skater dresses because they're super comfortable and there's like more fan to me. But yeah, just dress comfortably because you're going to be walking a lot and you're going to be carrying a lot of things. I don't think walking in heels is a super successful tip. So sneakers all the way. <laughs> Tip number 11 is to come to BookCon or Book Expo with a backpack that is a sturdy backpack and also have at least two tote bags on you. You will probably get tote bags there, but I always come with two really, really big tote bags and I always have my fanny pack, which is easy access to my cell phone, um, my business cards, and maybe like a couple of other little things, but I always have a backpack and I always have two tote bags. That's what I go to the convention with. I probably will, will, will get tote bags as well. Um, and I know that if you're VIP as well, they have like a private quote check where we check stuff and then we also have a hotel room as well we don't I me and my friends we don't go back to the convention the, our, our hotel like in the middle of the convention I know there are people that do that but we just go back at the end of the day but we definitely do get a lot of stuff so like I know that whole week for me I'm like going back home to Long Island and I'm dropping stuff off because I think if I stay there the entire week I don't think I would be able to get home um so I'm really cautious about like what I take and then like you know so yeah, so just like have enough storage devices because you will be carrying a lot of stuff. I'm sure you will get tote bags. We probably have so many tote bags, but you will get tote bags. So, but I always come with bigger tote bags in case, because I know I'm going to get a lot more stuff. So backpack, fanny pack, and tote bags for holding your goodies and your arcs. Tip number 12 is to have your cell phone fully loaded and fully charged. Always have like some device to recharge your cell phone, which is what I have, but by... Having your phone fully loaded, I mean, have all your con apps, like there's a book con app, there's normally a book expo app, have those on your phone, have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, any way that the publishers try to get in contact with you. Because even though we schedule ourselves to the hilt, having all that information, like if Twitter, because sometimes they'll just tweet out a code word and if you get the code word, then you get an arc. So always have that stuff on your phone. I know last year my phone was not built for that so my friend Marissa was doing all that information but now I finally upgraded my phone so I can actually have all this stuff on my phone um but yeah so definitely have your phone fully loaded and have a charging device on you because it will take your battery and then you'll have no phone and that will be really really sad so definitely have your phone fully loaded fully charged with a backup charge as well Tip number 13 is, keen is to remember the purpose of this convention is for publishing houses to print galleys, which are ARCs, so that you can review them and get the buzz out about them. So please, I know we all want ARCs and I know we all want to read them, but just remember to review them. And I know not all of us are bloggers, not all of us are on YouTube, not all of us are on Instagram, but most of us are on Goodreads or on Amazon. Publisher reviews so that the publishers can know your thoughts about the books most of the time. Um, let's see if I have an arc. Most of the time in the, my mind you this, I won't have it. Um, but most of the time in the back of the book, there is like an email address, like publish, um, like please call or for further information or an email to send your reviews to. So I always do that just to make sure that the publishing house has my information. Um, but yeah, that's just why these cons exist. And I feel like if you go to these cons, you at least have to publish a review somewhere because that's why people give you galleys to have you review them. And if you don't think you're going to review that book, then don't take it and leave it for someone who really does want to review it. So those, that's my purpose of the convention spiel. But the most important tip is have fun, enjoy yourself. If you're going to be there this year, comment below and let me know. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be hosting at least one giveaway. So keep a nose out for me. If you grab me and see my business and take my business card and answer a question, you can be entered into a giveaway. But yeah, let me know if you have any fun tips that I forgot because I'm sure I don't know everything. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll see you guys at BookCon and have fun and just enjoy yourself. It's going to be a really, really crazy week. And I'll talk to you guys soon.